Hello, I'm back with part two of my Bubble Bistro information video to make things a little easier for you. So I left off with um, explaining to you how to place your orders for scents that are not available on the site. I'm looking at my book, my notes. And um, if you're not sure, you need to call, you know, and place your order. So shipping charges. Let's go to shipping charges because it seems like a lot of people are having difficulty swallowing these shipping charges. Um, so um, the shipping charges are basically $12.65 or $12.95. Are they a little steep? Yes. But the whole point in this is trying to get a Bubble Bee Show experience. Um, you don't want to call and just order one thing. It's not going to be worth it. If you want to try the products, get one of the packages like the, the cherry pop box or the pop cherry box or the girlfriend or the experience box. You know, um, and it'll make it worth your, your shipping. But it just makes no sense. I mean, anybody that has tried Bubble Bistro, um, they can't wait to order again. I mean, it, it, you know, it's just a waste of time to call and just order. Let me let me get a frosting. I just want to try a frosting. No, either get one of the packages that she offers or... You know, save up your coins and just order a bunch of stuff to try. I'm telling you, you're not going to go wrong with Bubble Bistro products. The only thing that may confuse you a bit is the some of the scents. Like people ask, what does, um, excuse me, sugar mama smells like? Because that's not a clear scent like grape. If she has grape when you sniff this, it's going to smell like grape. If she has watermelon, when you sniff this, it's going to smell like watermelon. Peaches. It's going to smell like peaches. Now, for one like cotton candy, you know, you may ask, what does cotton candy? Because you may get all types of scents different. But... Cotton candy, this is like one of my favorite scents, especially the frosting. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's nice and soft. This is a frosting. It's a sweet, fruity, not too fruity, but a sweet, warm, sweet. It's a nice, warm, sweet smell. Not not so much fruity, like kind of like cotton candy. You know, so, um, you know, cake, it smells like a baked cake. It smells just like, you know, just like a cake, you know, not a scented cake or anything like a vanilla cake or a lemon cake, but it just smells like a regular bake, maybe buttercream cake, if that even is this buttercream cake. But um, pineapple smells just like pineapple. Mm, smells so good. You know, um, so, you know, people will ask, you know, what this smells like, what this smells like. And some of them you do kind of explain some of them. I could only give you my intake because I don't know what hibiscus and all of that stuff smells like. You know what I'm saying? And so unless you know what that smells like, you're not going to know what it smells like. So I only could give you the tell you like I'm a two year old <laughs> what it smells like version. But um what I was talking about, what was the point I was getting to? I don't know. I just ran off on a rant. But anywho, shipping charges, <laughs> that's what it is. And most of the time when a lot when people order a lot of stuff, you only pay the twelve sixty five or twelve ninety five. And sometimes she ends up spending like eighteen, nineteen dollars to send your stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it just makes more sense when you order from her. To just order a bunch of stuff. Like I said, just save up your coins and order a bunch of stuff. 
Um, oh, that's what I was getting at with the scents because some people, they want to know what this fragrances smell like or they don't know how it's going to work. It's going to work. Just ask what the fragrances smell like, <laughs> which I've answered a million and one times. But um, it'll be worth the shipping, you know, if you order in bulk, you know, order like five, six things at one time. The oils are ten dollars and six dollars for the two and a half. The frostings and the butter butters are eighteen dollars and the mists are eight dollars. The soaps are five dollars each. And then she do have bundle packages on the soaps which is five for 20 for the bars of soap and the mist, you get three for 20 or you can get one for $8. So, um, unfortunately she don't have any like group packages on the oils. You just got to buy them single. But you know, like, like I said, if you want to spend 50 bucks, just go ahead and, you know, get 50 bucks worth of stuff, you know, and it'll, you know, kind of offset, you know, the shipping, so on to my favorite scents because this is what I get all the time because people don't know what the what to buy when it comes to fragrances. Um, they don't know how they're going to smell. Every company's fragrance is different. She actually makes her own fragrances. So it's not something that she orders. You know what I'm saying? But trust and believe everybody who has tried and bought Bubble Bistro, that's the first thing that they notice is this stuff smells so good. I think even if it didn't work for me, I would still buy it because it smells good. <laughs> I don't care if I had to apply it three times a day. I think I would buy it be just because it smelled good. I bought stuff just for the scent, you know. Um, so, yeah. So, my favorite scents are, and I just bought out a, a few, there are more than this that I like but normally when people ask me when they're first time orderers or even when they're going back to order a second time after sam buying us the sample box they will ask me what are your favorite scents because I like some of the same scents that you like my first two favorite scents is watermelon and grape and the reason why I picked watermelon and grape, because these two, you can mix with anything and they smell good, especially watermelon. You can mix them with anything, just about, and they smell good. But um, I also like cotton candy. I love cotton candy. I try to mix this with everything too. This is another one that mixes with a lot of stuff. Some of the stronger scents, like maybe grape um it may get lost in the scent but as you can see i have a frosting and an oil i love cotton candy um peaches is another nice one that mixes well with the fruity and the warm you know um bakery type smells ginger peach i love let's see Cake, I just fell in love with because um, this mixes with some of the fruity, like I mixed cake and peaches and it smells so good. Cake and cotton candy smells so good. So, and another one y'all know I just mixed and I showed it in the group, cake and pineapple. Pineapple cake. Um, another one I fell in love with is Jolly Rancher because it smells so fruity and I love really f nice fruity smells and um, I think that's it so and of course I love my magic and if you do have if you do because everybody wants to order magic if you do order magic you can tell her what fragrances you want in your magic if you know the scents that you like or you can just let her do your thing do her thing and she'll hook it up for you you'll like it whether you let her do her own thing or you tell her what you want what scents you want in it so um mixing scents let's go on to mixing scents this might end up being a three-part series Whew. okay mixing scents um hmm. so as i was just showing you 
her stuff mixes and everything mixes and matches. Some of them you may not like together. Some of them you may love together. You know, what I may like, you may not like. I do show um, the scents that I mix together. Sometimes I will mix a frosting and, you know, let's just say um, a frosting and two oils. You know, and people I say to me, and I showed this in my last Bubble Bistro video, you know, they'll say, why are you mixing up all of that stuff? You only need a little at a time. You know, I showed that in the video. Or you can do a frosting, a oil, and a mist, you know, if you just want it for the scent. You know, the two may be enough, but if you want the third scent, you just spray on the mint, the, the mist to get the, the, the third scent opposed to doing, um, you know, another frosting or oil. You know what I'm saying? You, you just use the mist because basically, as I told you in the first information bubble bistro video, the mist is not a, a body oil. It's just a hydration spray to help soak in um, the oils and the butters that you just put on your body. It, it feels really nice when you spray on a hydration spray and it's scented. So it'll mix in, you know, you just get your little scents that you want to mix together, you know, um, say magic, you know, say if this is peaches and you want to mix peaches, watermelon and cotton candy, you know, you got the peaches scent without putting on another oil and you got your other two. And I will say, um, Before I say that, um, so you can mix. I've seen people mix multiple frostings because as I said, the frostings are light. To me, they go on and melt down like an oil and it goes on like an oil is super soft, is super smooth. So, um, but it is a little, it is heavier than the oils. The oils are not that heavy. So, um, some people don't like the butters because they're too heavy. But I've seen people mix two and three frostings and then do a, a spray or maybe two frostings and um, an oil and then a spray. <laughs> you know, you can do what you want with this stuff. That's what I love about it because you could kind of just make up your own scent and make up your own thing um, with this. Um and what was I going to say? Um, so that's it for the mixing. As I said, you know, mixing, you could do three oils, you know, and three oils will give me the consistency of using a frosting and an oil. One oil pretty much is this for me to want to, you know, keep away the ash and put something on my skin after a shower, but I will have to reapply um, the next day because it's just not heavy enough for me. Um, the thing with butters for me is that I don't like anything sitting on my skin. I need for it to soak in like very quickly. I live in the desert, so I can't have nothing sitting on my skin. I'll be sweating as I'm putting that stuff on. But if some people like the heaviness of the butters, some people don't. I don't like heaviness of butters. I need for it to soak in really, really quickly. And the frostings do that for me. Even when I mix them with two two other oils or something like that, they just soak in really quick. And even the next day, if I use a frosting and an oil, I don't have to reapply, especially if I'm just around the house. You know, um, if I'm going out, I still don't have, I could just touch up if I just want the scent to be stronger, but I don't have to worry about ashiness. Um, so that's that. And um, colors of the frostings. <laughs> it was funny because, um, one second. It was funny because, um, in the group is all about the curls. One of the one of the young ladies, she got a gummy bear frosting and it was pink. If you go on to Bubble Bistro's IG page, the um, gummy bear frosting is green. <laughs> so I asked her, one of the other young ladies 
who has a gummy bear frost and hers was green. She said, why is hers pink? And so I asked Andrea, I said, why the color change? And she said she just didn't want to do green. She got sick of looking at green. So she wanted to make that one pink. So it's going to work the same. The um, ingredients or the formula did not change um, or any of that. It's going to smell the same. It's just that she wanted she want to make it a different color. If it's not a color that um, was advertised or you saw in a picture, she just wanted to make it a different color. You know, so that's it on the color change. Um, I did a video on the difference between the butters and the frostings, but quickly, I don't have a butter with me, but basically the frostings, the ingredients are different. The butter has shea and mango butter, um, I think castor oil. You can go back in my video and look when I was doing the consistency because some of the ladies were saying that it was theirs was super hard. And I did list the ingredients of the butters and the frosting. And I did show you the consistency, but basically the butters are heavier. It's for people who want heavier um, skin products, you know, and the frostings are, are lighter and softer. So um, again, it's like putting on a creamier oil, you know what I'm saying? But a little bit heavier than the oil. It's heavier than the oil. Um, so that's the difference between the butters and the frostings. Um, some people like the, the butters because they need the heaviness. They like the heaviness of it. And some people like the frostings because they don't like the heaviness of the butters and they want something that's going to soak in right away, opposed to having to wait um, a little, a couple of minutes for the butter to soak in. Ordering. Don't make ordering a headache for yourself. <laughs> Again, um, you know, kind of when you see people posting stuff, you know, and you haven't ordered before, just kind of take notes. Um or you can reach out to me here, but it would probably be better if you take notes because sometimes I can't always get back to you right away and you may be ready to order. I've seen people who, you know, are on the site and they're so confused and it's like, why are you confused? You know, just order what you like. I can give you descriptions of the scents, but basically it comes down to what fragrances you like. That's it. Um, and I told you what my top fragrances was, but I do have a lot more that I do like. But I just gave you the top safe fragrances, you know, because when you start getting into stuff like Sugar Mama, Pink Lady, Pillow Talk, now you're getting into the more complicated scents, you know, where you got to, you have different notes in it, you know, and, you know, um, it's not fruity, but it's not floral, either. So those may be a little bit more difficult and you can ask her for a sample if it's something that you do want to try. But I would say the the fragrances that I just showed you and my top favorite, those would probably be the safe fragrances, which is watermelon, grape, peaches, oatmeal, honey, cotton candy, pineapple, um, ginger peach, uh, watermelon, Jolly Rancher, you know, those would probably be the safe and then you can go on from there. And also those mix and match with each other very well to the sense that I just made, um, told you about. So, um, yeah. Uh, and the last but not least is if you want to see me do a scent description video, just let me know, leave it in the comment box um, to let me know what you want to see, which if you want me to do a scent description. I know some people have asked me. Um, I have a quite a few scents, so it would, it would be broken up over a series because, you know, you have to sniff and then you got to kind of, you know, give the description of what you think it smells like. So if I get enough people asking, then I will do it. But let me know if that's something that you want me to do. So this is the end of the Bubble Bistro information video. Hopefully um, your holiday ordering will go smoothly. 
Um, you will love the products like I do and so many other ladies and men. They do sell fragrances, soap, oils, butters for men as well. And they do have a little pet line. Um, so, ooh, excuse me, my ear itch. But um, give it a try. I don't think you will be disappointed because so far nobody has who has bought so thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please leave your comments in the box below. Don't forget to share the video on Google+. Give me a thumbs up. Peace.